Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the SSD in a 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display using an OWC Aura 6G solid-state drive. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We're now ready to begin. The first thing you'll need to do is close your MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 5-point torque screws. The two center screws on the hinge edge are a little shorter than the others and should be kept separate, so let's remove those first. Then you can remove the remaining 8 screws. Once all the screws have been removed, you can lift the rear cover off and set it aside. Next, we need to detach the battery connection, which is located underneath this plastic cover. You can easily remove the cover by gently lifting up on it and carefully peeling it back. Underneath are three Torx T6 screws, which will all need to be removed. The third screw has a thick barrel, which holds in this plastic cover. Remove this cover to reveal a fourth screw. Remove this fourth screw and you can lift the assembly away from the logic board to disconnect the battery. You may now lift up on the drive ribbon cable connector to detach it from the logic board. Finally, remove the drive carrier by pushing in on the center handle so it comes loose from the MacBook Pro, then lifting the entire carrier up and out of the computer. On the other side of the drive carrier, you'll find the SSD module itself. To remove the module, you'll first need to remove this Torx T5 screw, lift the far end of the drive up using your nylon pry tool, and gently pull the drive out of its slot. On the OWC Aura, there is a notch which lines up with the pin in the drive carrier slot. Line the two up and slide them together until they're fully seated. Then, press down on the far side of the Aura until it lays flat within the carrier. Then, secure it in place with the Torx T5 screw you removed earlier. Angle the drive carrier into its base so that the solid end goes in first. Press the center handle to align the tabs on the outside edge, then release them to lock it in place. You can now connect the drive ribbon cable by aligning the connectors and pushing them together. Replace the large silver screw for the power supply board, then place the plastic cover over the top of it. You may then replace the remaining three screws. You can now set the plastic cover back into place. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Set the bottom cover back into place and press down on these two spots to engage the clips underneath. Next, take the two shortest pentalobe screws, which won't have a collar, and replace them in the two center holes along the hinge edge. Finally, replace the eight remaining screws, which are all the same size.
You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.